welcome to one of the most beautiful mansions in all of Evanston that was built more than 100 years ago. We're in the primary bedroom, another fireplace. The previous owner added four stair into this house. So you can see we have a bunch of soffits that are running on the perimeter. Soffits are a little bigger than I'd like them to be and a lot of ins and outs. So we floated an idea to actually take the soffits down, see how tall that ductwork actually is. Maybe we can modify it, maybe we can push it up to the existing structure. We have finished third floor above, which is why the ductwork is below the ceiling. The room would feel more cohesive if we had one finished ceiling. It'll also allow us to maybe add some beams or a coffered ceiling to make a distinction between what's sitting area and sleeping area. And by having one clean ceiling, it'll also give us an opportunity to work on centerings of chandeliers and getting recessed lighting in where we want to. The door. Right now, this is the door to the bathroom. It's just hanging out here in the bedroom. If you want to open it, you have to have it all the way laying against the wall, when really we want this door to swing into the bathroom. And we're going to take this door opening and we're going to shift it over this way. And when that happens, the center of the fireplace, the light fixture, and the new door opening will center on the door opening to the primary closet, which will center on a window beyond. So we're gonna create this access of view and light. This doorway opening is so close to this vanity that if someone is using that sink, you're gonna feel like you have to shift around them to get in the bathroom. So function, beauty, harmony with getting this alignment, it's gonna be awesome.